नमस्कार सबा के गुड इवनिंग एवरीबडी आई थिंक आई एम गोईंग लाइव आफ्टर अ लंग लंग टाइम लास्ट वॉज अगेन विद डब्ल्यू डब्ल्यू इंडिया ओनली वेन वी हैड दिस ब्यूटिफुल लैन अप ऑन अर्थ डे बट टूडे इज ऑल्सो अ वेरी स्पेशल डे बिकॉज फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट विशिंग एवरीबडी वेरी वेरी हैप्पी ग्लोबल टाइगर डे वी हैव एन अमेजिंग um experts to be talking about this big cat um but i think tiger is really the rock star of uh, the wildlife world uh, you know we always need some rock stars we need superstars and the tiger is that superstar and we're going to talk about today what is the situation of the superstar uh, the fact that uh, we have a huge number of tiger now probably the most in the world now um, Uh, roaming around in our country that's thanks to an amazing effort of conservation people's uh, awareness how much more to go all that we'll discuss but first and foremost um what is a what is a musician doing talking about uh, tigers on uh, on this day so i think uh, art and tigers have just incredibly always been together satyajit ray's movie gubbi gan baga bai there's an amazing sequence khama karo bag mama um daya karo bag mama the fact that he created just the tiger is sitting in the scene and gubi gopi and bagar just just see it then the tiger does nothing but you can imagine the situation of these two guys who are like an entire music comes out in semi classical form just seeing this incredible beast called the tiger i think ray was how beautifully he actually pictureized it i had uh, been to sundarbans many times i must admit i have never seen a tiger so in fact i'm going to talk to some of our experts today and i'm sure they have because i there was a time when i didn't even believe tigers existed in sundarbans because i've never seen it but last time i saw some pug marks um but interestingly when i talk about art uh, there is an amazing play there called bono bibir pala now this is probably the oldest play oldest theater oldest musical which exists where uh it talks about a happy marriage of the forest of the human being and of the tiger now can you imagine how progressive we were that so many years back i'm i'm talking about 150 years back probably they devised this play just to educate people that how it's important all three to coexist one cannot override the other otherwise all three will die I think that's what I had gone to see there, uh, Bono Bibir Pala, and I was like absolutely stunned by this incredible play. And when I was coming back, I remember uh, the boat I was I was on. Um, he was singing this uh, song. Amai Dubai lire, amai bhasha lire, akul duri ay jano kul nai le. and many years back um, when i mentioned this moment to gulzar sahab and he said yeah mera bhi ek gana tha isi pe humne likha tha bhai re ganga jaye kahan re ganga ai kahan re sehra pani mein jaise dhoop chhao re this this magical night i was in sundarbans when moonlit just it was a spotlight the entire this lilands we were going through and the boat motor cut 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 was going on i i never i never forget that night and though i didn't see the tiger then i can well imagine anybody who has in that setting it must be a kind of a life altering altering situation um i think um, do we have vinod ji on the uh, think i'll just add him on विनोद जी नमस्कार कैन यू हियर मी नमस्कार नमस्कार कैसे हैं आप मैं आई एम आई एम वेरी फाइन इन फैक्ट अ स्मॉल इंट्रोडक्शन टू मेनी ऑफ यू हु डोंट नो इन फैक्ट दीपंकर हु इज डियर फ्रेंड ऑफ माइंड वाज थैंक यू विनोद जी इज इज द क्रूसेडर फॉर कंजर्वेशन स्पेशली टाइगर्स ही जस्ट माने ही ही इज एन आईएफएस एंड ही इज द principal chief conservator of forests uh, and chief wildlife warden west bengal what a state to be chief warden of west bengal mane isse ghana jungle aur kahin nahi hai aur isse rich flora and fauna aur kahin nahi hai 
um uh, yeah, yeah right. i just want to ask yeah, right. you this question before we talk about details and technicality and this ask question i'm going to ask everybody aapko do you remember the first time you saw tiger yeah first time when i saw the tiger you know after entering the service it was mm-hmm. jalda para uh-huh. and the day i went to the jalda para uh, it was night one tasker mm-hmm. you know stopped me uh, yes. on the way mm-hmm. and i was waiting there for around 45 minutes when the tasker moved around the next I day it. i was going all around jalda para Mm-hmm. in the evening uh, mm-hmm. you know i went to a watch tower where the staff okay. you know they stay there during the night time also mm-hmm. for protection mm-hmm. purpose mm-hmm. so it was like you know uh, like there was light but sun is going to be set so them what are the animals here mm-hmm. so they started saying sir rhino elephant gor mm-hmm. this sambar the that leopard then i said mm-hmm. tiger tiger ache ki <laughs> so the tiger is there so the one forest guard told me sir cross so the tiger was crossing i was on the watch tower and the tiger was crossing and it disappeared in the tall grassland ah. so that was the you know first tiger that i saw in west bengal and wow, wow after that you know i i was the divisional forest officer in jalla hmm. para uh-huh. so you know everybody else saw the tiger i didn't see the tiger that is so the story of my life it was yeah. like uh-huh. i saw the tiger on in jalla para only or, or i saw it only for four five times okay and but of course i saw the kills the different carcass and all of course of course of course uh thank you um uh, the next uh, amazing uh, lady that i'm introducing to um she has a similar background to mine in fact that we are from communications and marketing um then i lost track she hasn't she continues to uh, make a lot of difference uh, ms mega tata she is the managing director discovery communications india she her baroda list is hum- humongous um so i'm going to keep it at that the fact that she's worked in companies like um star tv and hbo and turner i'm going to ask this question later on that she's dealt with superstars from my world uh, but i'm sure there's only one and superstar out there and that is the tiger so i wish shall welcome uh miss mega data can you hello ma'am how are you hi shantanu how are you good to see you so so wonderful to have you on this uh, uh, but before i ask anything else the same question to you hey have you seen the tiger sorry i lost you for a sec have you seen the tiger have you oh yeah a few times a few times so tell um, me about the first time tell me about the first time um i don't know which one where it was but i think mm-hmm. it was uh, probably ranthambore i'm not i'm not really sure where was the first time mm-hmm. but uh, that experience was um, actually you 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 get loss of yeah you know it's just uh, it's just something else and and his stride his uh, presence his attitude his swerve is just mesmerizing you know i yeah. think what a what a beautiful elegant animal it is it's just it's just majestic so yeah it was one of those words can't describe moments for me when i saw it first and 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 this it's life altering and i first thought it was just a metaphor but uh, when i did see the tiger i i realized that no they were not joking it is life altering Some, something something switches something on in your life switches. absolutely yeah. something happens it's it, so i mean i you know I, lots of things happen i mean it's just almost like saying that there was a tigress in me who came alive as well when i saw uh one i don't know whether i saw a tiger or a tigress but i it just i felt i felt something so it was wonderful. amazing wonderful um the, the next guest that i am introducing is a dear friend of mine dr dipankar ghosh hod wildlife and habitat center uh, habitat division ww of india incredibly he has lots of conservationist conservationists working under him but whenever i talk to him he talks about music he talks, talks about poetry 
uh, I think there's an artist in every person who deals with conservation, especially uh, the wildlife. I think that's very important, art and... Uh, so uh, please welcome uh, Dipankarda. That's what we are for all of us. Uh, your microphone is off, Dipankarda. Can you just switch it on? Yes, thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, a, a crazy question to you two. Uh, remember the first time you saw a tiger? What was it like? 1997, December. Oh, you're exact. Okay. One evening, we were mm -hmm. returning to our base in, uh, in Simlipal and... Mm -hmm. uh, one of our um, good friends, he had a camp uh, in the buffer. Mm -hmm. Our vehicle broke down. We had a, a forest guard with us. And uh, mm -hmm. so he said, look, before it gets dark, let's walk. Mm -hmm. And we did not have much idea that how long was the walk. I mean, whether it was mm -hmm. kilometer or it was in minutes. Mm -hmm. But in, in India, you know, distances are never measured in kilometers. They are measured in minutes. True. So True. This, this gentleman said, sir, that's 15 minute and that 15 minutes actually became an hour because it was it was late in the night and of course there was a group and we we were walking mm -hmm. and we had to go by a riverbed so while we were going by the riverbed mm -hmm. there was something there was there's something there uh, it was mm -hmm. still not very dark uh, it mm -hmm. was a moonlit night or rather evening mm -hmm. and we saw this pair of glowing mm -hmm. eyes and this guard said that don't run mm -hmm. stay calm just mm -hmm. walk ahead. So we walked. And then after about 100 feet, there mm -hmm. was another pair of glowing eyes on the left. Mm -hmm. And this time he mm -hmm. said, Dada, bark. No, oh my God. with my training, I knew that I'm not supposed to run. But I was thinking that, okay, the distance between that pair of glowing eyes and us was mm -hmm. about 200, 200 odd meters. Mm -hmm. uh, but it was, it was quite far. But for a tiger, it's, it's not very far. Okay. So we came back to the camp and then the whole adrenaline rush happened. So I was like, whole night we couldn't sleep. And next morning, the first thing I did was that I requested this forest guard. He was with us. I said, Dada Cholun, dekhte jai. So we went to the riverbed. We, of course, had a, had a jeep with us. And mm -hmm. there were tiger pug marks, mm -hmm. two sets of tiger pug marks. So there was a pair, maybe, maybe some adults or something. We didn't know. But there was a pair of tigers. So we didn't see it properly. But that was my first experience. And as you said, that it's kind of etched in my memory. And, mm -hmm. and tigers are like that. You know, the one behind me, one gorgeous lady from, from Corbett. Mm -hmm. I mean, the way we, we looked at her and when she came and then snipped the tree and marked at the tree, it's just mm -hmm. gorgeous. I mean, we, I keep okay. going back to the forest to see tigers. Mm. Awesome. See, there's a, there's a poet in you, Dibankar, the way you describe uh, uh, those moments. Uh, you should consider writing. Oh gosh, I've never, never uh, written a poetry. <laughs> Prose is fine. Uh, yes, Thank yes. you. One should. Vinoji, uh, Vinoji, I'm going to ask you this question. That, um, and I'm, I'm often asked this question: uh, Why do people care for tiger? Like, you know, human beings are uh, struggling every day. Uh, in all this, uh, why is it important to talk about another species, uh, which is not us, and tiger? How does it, what difference does it make? You know, I, uh, this was one of the questions that one of the uh, police inspector, he asked me in Calcutta police. We were oh. doing some, you know, the training program there. Mm -hmm. Then he said that how, you know, I'm going to be affected if all the uh, tigers in this Sundarban, they die. So, mm. you know, but then he explained, you know, this is how the uh, the whole kind of an ecological cycle is. And if there is no carnivore, how it is going to be, you know, impacts on the, mm. not only the human being, but uh, mm. like suppose there will be, you know, surge of population of the herbivores and there will be nobody to, you know, control it. So either you go for killing of the herbivore or the herbivores, they spread and then, you know, they destroy your crop, they destroy forest and they destroy everything. And then it will just come to culminate that, mm -hmm. you know, there will be kind of a natural, uh, yeah, or you can say ecological disaster. So <laughs> it's like that. Excellent. Uh 
Ma'am, uh, this is. Uh, I was just thinking that when we create movies, uh, we are asked to create songs to highlight a situation, a character, or uh, drive home a director's point of view. And if this was the movie of life, and uh, Tiger was that character, uh, what role is uh, the media and especially um, Discover India, according to you, uh, playing, and you think will play in future? Uh, to highlight this majestic animal and its habitat in our country. Thanks, Shantanu. Very poetically put, uh, as expected to from you. Um, so, you know, I think uh, just to set the context as well, Shantanu, and, um, you know, Dipankar and, uh, and I have spoken multiple times on this as well. I think Discovery, you know, stands for a company with a purpose. Um, and uh, and that's that is the core of our our, our our company and and one of the key aspects of um, working with a purpose uh, or you know identifying a purpose is that you have to walk the talk right uh, you have to if what what you believe in what you talk then you have to actually deliver that and I think uh, considering the fact that you know we are an organization which has been working on you know giving back, whether it's purpose-led mm. for people, communities, mm. planet at large. Um, and we do that at large in terms of from delivering the content point of view. But how do we extend that is something uh, was very important for us. Mm -hmm. And uh, so when, uh, you know, a few years ago, I think around 2016, we, we identified a project which was called Project Cat, which was, uh, you know, uh, uh, specifically working towards conservation of the tigers and then we partnered mm -hmm. with ww um, uh, you know with wwf and what we realized through that partnership was that you can actually make a difference if you're uh, if you can extend that um, you know just don't talk about it actually do the you know practice what you preach kind of a thing and mm -hmm. that's really what we uh, strongly believed in and then eventually have worked with WWF in the last few years um, and our goal was uh, actually together to globally to you know increase the tiger count across from 2006 you know by 2022 and I think um, the banker is best place to say this but I think there is a huge movement which absolutely. is happening absolutely. on that round and I absolutely. think uh, Discovery has done its part in a small bit way uh, to be able to contribute to that growth of numbers in the tigers. And we specifically work uh, working in Sundarbans and mm. uh, in the West Bengal uh, government as well, with the West Bengal government as well to drive that. So a really, really gratifying experience. Uh, and I've been there myself to see the how the impact oh. we are able to make there. Wow. I was hugely, hugely touched. And I, yeah. in fact, Dipankar and I were speaking that I want to go back again. And, and I hope I am able to, if, if, you know, if once you're able to travel, but that is something uh, truly a beautiful uh, partnership we've had with WWF on Sundarbans. Thank you. Uh, Dipankar, um, I just want to tell you that I'm, just to the people who are uh, listening to this, uh, Sundarban is a very, very difficult area. Uh, primarily because uh, the land at seven degrees inclined, so the water doesn't go back, and uh, that itself is a ch very challenging situation. In fact, most of the arts, which is out there, music and everything, it's really about the challenges that people face. It's it's historic. Um, uh, um, I've hardly heard any um, happy songs or happy things from there because it's a struggle. Um, talking about struggle, um, you've worked for so many years in the Sundarban area, the bunker. Uh, what are the challenges that you think are there that facing you, especially in tiger conservation? Thank you. Um, that's that's a great question, Santanu. And uh, before I get into that, so thank you, uh, Mr. Yadav, and thank you, uh, Ms. Tata, for the wonderful partnership. I think it's a it's a tripartite partnership between Discovery. Uh, WWF and the West Bengal Forest Directorate, uh, which is cementing tiger conservation in Sundarbans. I think one of the major challenge is managing this coexistence. People in Sundarbans are already so stressed. In Bengali, when we were kids, you know, there was a there was a phrase, "Jole kumir, dangai bag, gachet dale jhulche shap." Wow. Meaning, yeah. 
crocs in the water, mm. tiger in the land, and mm. snakes hanging, or sometimes mm. even king cobras hanging mm. from the tree branches. That's Sundarbans. Mm. And just think about a village. A villager falls sick in, mm. in one of the islands. And there is nothing. Because there is low tide, the boat cannot carry the sick person or the patient to the nearest mm. primary health center. Mm. And who is the first responder? Mm. It's the forest department. Mm. So there is this intricate relationship between the forest department and, and local communities through the eco-development committees, mm. which mm. I think is, is helping, which is helping in managing or rather addressing that challenge. Mm. And that's something which is, again, getting strengthened in you know, our work mm. in, in Sundarbans with support of uh, uh, Discovery and a mm. few other partners is primarily aimed at strengthening this partnership of conservation, strengthening the partnership between the government agencies, particularly forest directory, the local communities, mm -hmm. so that there is a better future for tigers. Yeah, there are, there are incredible challenges, but I think that can all happen once. Uh, it's just not your uh, or Mr. Yadav's responsibility. I think that's where uh, Ma'am, me, many others come. It, it's, it, 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 you know, we sometimes we think like a department. This is his department. This is his department. I think today the success of uh, the tigers in our country is because we broke down all those departments. Um, many, no, many years Shantanu, back. Yeah. Shantanu, I uh, intervene. That sure. is what we believe in collaborative management. True. True. And uh, yeah, that's how we make movies. Uh, collaboratively and uh, to communicate. Um, you know, uh, many, many years back, um, I had this love for Sundarbans, uh, primarily because of the music and later on I fell in love with the place. Um, <clears throat> I was introduced to a lady who was a victim of a tiger attack. Uh, I still remember uh, she was, uh, um, she was grinding some masala. Her uh, pallu was here. I could make out that She's hiding it. And the fact that I couldn't see it made it even more grotesque in my head. And um, there was a gust of wind. And I saw just a glance. And saw a gloss. I just got a glimpse. It was horrific. This was a tiger attack. But the ironical part is, this lady works in conservation of tigers. And I asked her that, uh, what is it like to be completely, your life has changed thanks to this attack? Her husband left her. Uh, there were uh, monetary issues. I don't want to get here in this forum, but yeah, there were challenges. And yet she's working in uh, conservation. And the things she said that, that the people who work here for conservation made me realize that it is not us versus them. them. It's us and them. And that is why I think it's so fascinating. Probably the Sundarban success story for me is huge. And here's the, here's the case in point that in our house, when we see a house lizard and we see a cockroach, the first instinct is to yell, to shriek and sh shove it out of the house or throw it out of the window. And there's a tiger out there. Your first instinct obviously is to do something to it to save yourself. And here, through systematic work by the entire community, you are changing the basic instinct of the human being to repel something that you don't understand. And you start ringing bells so that the experts realize that there is a tiger there. And then step one, step two, step three happens. And they then they, if things go right, they capture the tiger and they bring it out of the open. This process seems 10 seconds, Shantanu Moitra said it. It's a lifetime of psychographics. It's a lifetime of change. Um, now, talking about this example that I gave, um, you know, Yadavji just tell us one thing that what are, the, what are the steps that the state government is taking to protect tigers, especially in Sundarbans? You see, uh, the state government, hmm. as I said, uh, there are 102 islets in more or less uh, Sundarbans, which is uh, Indian part, it is 4,500 square kilometer area. And the 50% of the uh, 
islands are mangrove forests and it is in quite a very uh, remote very 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 remote areas so naturally uh, we need to do the protection we are uh, adjacent to the bangladesh that side is also sundarbans the bangladesh sundarbans mm. and people also come from there uh, mm. to our land so is uh, we have got around 40 uh, this camps in the remote areas mm. and these 40 camps they are you know now what gradually we equipped with them was the wireless communication the arms and the boats so they go every day for patrolling mm-hmm. and gradually we have to now uh, you know because of the technology we are using the drones and the other you know uh, the communication devices for quick uh, earlier there was no you know kind of a motorized boat it was only the uh, the you know hand boats then some small small motorized boat came Mm-hmm. and now we have got some speed boats also though the number is less mm. but we have got another control room where we take the information from everywhere so this is one way of patrolling uh, inside because there is no road inside mm. you have to patrol only through the waterways mm. so you have to it's not like sariska or the ranthambore or it's the, the venice of the wildlife <laughs> yeah it's very so divided so you have to move it like that and my staff they are living very very remote area mm-hmm. we are uh, now trying to provide them the ration we are trying to provide them the you know uh, the of course the protective gears even some of the ngos like wwf they are also they have provided boats and they have also provided the protective gears so this is one way of you know uh, protection the another way of protection is the intelligence gathering okay and we believe this uh, because that is very important in one way because the tiger is um, is being posed uh, where wherever the tiger is there in more in numbers so naturally the this is a the poaching is a kind, kind of a constant threat so True. these anti poaching operations you need to do mm. and uh, do the intelligence gathering and how we are very successful as uh, you know dipankar was telling mm-hmm. that we have got the involved the joint forest management committee we call it like a participatory tiger conservation oh. so only nice. the yeah, only the you know the uh, the government department or the forest department can't protect the you know the tiger it is it is very obvious and that is why we went for this concept and implementing it the participatory you know we say the wildlife management here it is mainly focus on the tiger and as we were discussing earlier also the before the 80s and 90s the relationship between the villagers and the you know the forest department was not that good yeah. even the forest forest people when they used to go to the, the uh, you know rescue the tigers from the villages correct so they had to face lot of challenges yeah i've seen that even fact, some of, of mistrust some, yeah. some of them staff were man handled also many officers were man handled hmm. so gradually in the 90s after the 95 you know we started doing this um, program of joint forest management and we have you know expanded it and you will be surprised to know that we are sharing 40% of the tourism revenue uh, with the, these protection committees yeah and that is quite huge you know this year we are going to distribute like 2.5 crores Wow. and each committee is going to get around 9 lakhs 45000 so and Amazing. apart from this we do lot of you know community development activities also for them so okay. our main focus is you know conservation protection not only for the mangroves habitat protection 
mm. and the protection of the tiger that is what we do yeah because it's such a challenging uh, place of course um ma'am uh, you pretty much uh, you're the zarin of communication um you you just heard a story that i told you about um, a lady that i met this is also a great example of uh, human and wildlife coexistence what is what is what is it that you can think or what you can as a strategy that we can actually make this alliances human and animal coexisting what can we do strategically especially with the help of media so that they don't they are not just one of examples but they have become almost like a thing of life it becomes like a like an habit what do you think can be done yeah shantanu i think um, you know there is no um, one thing you have to do you have to do multiple things and continuously to make an impact uh, frankly um, and you're absolutely right the biggest challenge i think it is about the human animal conflict right you know and how do you overcome that it's not about a uh, survival of a uh, human versus uh, you know the, uh, the animal it's about the coexistence part of it mm-hmm. and i think one of the things which we really felt very uh, strongly connected with when we when we were speaking with wwf is that you know there is you know there is obviously multiple parties which are doing their bit the government is doing their bit there are you know ngos who are doing their bit what is it that we can be able to bring to the table which is a little more nuanced um so i think what what we realized that you know we understood the core of the problem the problem is that the there are a certain set of villagers who are um challenged to make their uh, you know everyday meet you know the, the basic uh, work which they need to do for which they need to go into the forest to do their uh, you know daily chores and that's where the the clash happens and mm. and then becomes like nobody's the bad guy it's just the circumstances mm. are the bad guy unfortunately you know and and i think that really become was a challenge so one of the ways we we felt would we could have addressed this challenge on the ground was that uh, you know which we did also was provide for example the um uh, opportunity for the villagers to create their own livelihood without having the need to go to the forest so one mm-hmm. is that you address the need the need mm-hmm. is that i need to eat my roti khana mm-hmm. every day mm-hmm. how do i help you so i create i create those environment for you whether it's good uh, soil or uh, you know the farming environment where you're able to grow your own crop and you know bring in a livelihood livelihood concept so uh, you are you're you're involved in making that livelihood work and so the need to go into the forest doesn't arise that's one uh second was also that how do you protect this environment you know there is there are multiple fences there as as you know you might know since you've been there but there is uh there is a you know the animals and the humans going into there and animals more coming into the uh to the humans world side of the fence is was also a challenge so for example uh, we provided these nylon nets which which is a simple uh, solve but right. it was an effective solve you know which created mm. this uh, barricade or a barrier mm. for the humans and the animals sort of not you know moving into True. each other's territories um and like uh, uh, mr yadav was mentioning about um you know the need for boats so we we provided a mm. speed boat as well to help you know the communication and the travel part for the wardens there and a few such interventions so that is from an on ground level and i think as a media uh, prop you know as as a media player and and a one who really believes in this cause and wants to make an impact there's nothing better than showing content which highlights mm-hmm. the beauty of this animal right so it, it, we like we love animal uh, we love the tiger we want to you know watch it as well not only of course protect it and we have enough and more content to uh, showcase on our networks across um, you know linear as well as digital platforms talking about uh, the tigers um, the beauty of tigers and there we have so much of content uh, between uh, all our channels whether it's discovery That's animal true. planet or discovery plus so a combination of all that i think makes a impact for us and you know platforms like these where we speak out it we talk about it we just don't um you know it's not a box to be ticked for us we really believe in this and are doing our bit uh, in of course in a small way but i think making a, a reasonable impact uh to 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 for the larger good of this animal's existence it it's so wonderful when i when i talk to 
somebody like you who represent organizations in so-called the corporate world, uh, which sometimes uh, is not a great world. And when I see you doing these things, I just feel that it's such an amazing thing when causes, issues, and the corporation come together. Then I think um, pro problems can be easier solved. Uh, and that is such a lovely marriage. Uh, before yeah, I come to- It's important to understand that, you know, it is about people, profit, and planet. It is- Correct. And yeah. all three need to coexist Correct. Uh, as yeah. well. It's, you know, again, it's not an either or, and it is a possibility. So, I'm so happy that uh, Tiger doesn't know that. He's <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, part uh, of the planet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Dipankar, uh, quite a few years back, um, I had gone with Dhritiman, uh, our good wildlife photographer friend, to Ranthambur, and um, I was not carrying a cap, uh, and I didn't even think anything about it. Middle of the afternoon, Dipankar, two o'clock, the jeep, open jeep, there's a tiger who decides to sit, okay, and doesn't move from there for the next three hours, and I'm fried, okay, I'm completely fried. And uh, though, of course, you're like, oh my God, the tiger, but it was like really hot. And um, suddenly one of the songs that I'd done for a completely different perspective, I don't know why, it just came to me. And I'll share this before I ask you the next question. And the words are very important because all the tiger did was just look. And those eyes kill, those eyes kill. So, Neno ki bhasha piya Keh rahi Tum se ye khamoshiya Silently he's just sitting there, just looking at you. Sikho na Lab to na kholungi me Samjho dil ki boli Sikho na Neno ki bhasha piya this is the beauty of the tiger. I've always believed. Wow, it just beautiful. Do anything. It doesn't wow. do anything. It just doesn't look. It, and Lovely song. It Lovely communicates. Song. But Dipankar, what is I noticed in many of these journeys was many of the guides would tell the tourist in that van that tiger chalte So the whole thing right from the people who are taking them to the people who are going there, their only focus is the tiger and there is nothing else. Even the bakshesh, the extra wages that they get is only if you show me a tiger or I'm not interested. The bunker, what do you have to say about this? Ganta <laughs> Asadharan. I still go so back much. to this song. So that's that's uh, I, 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 I think so it's still it's it's humming in my mind. I think tiger reserves, if we look at tiger habitats, they have a lot more to offer. I know a person in Ranthambore, he's from UK. I don't know whether he came last year. He has been coming to Ranthambore for last 30 years mm -hmm. with nothing but a pair of binoculars to see birds. Ah, he stays for a, a month in a tiger reserve. Huh? Wow, in a tiger reserve. So he loves Ranthambur. Hmm. He has seen legendary tigers in in Ranthambur. But let me just tell you how we collectively, government agencies like Forest Department, media, NGOs, we collectively can make changes. We were in Sundarbans. We were actually doing a study together with the Forest Department uh, on bird studies in, in Sundarbans, mm -hmm. looking at bird population and bird diversity. So he was camping inside inside the national park on uh, forest department boats. It was uh, pre-winter, we were sleeping on the deck, middle of the night, and there was this friend of mine, Sujan, who was there, and right, we were both of us, we were on the deck, and we were in deep slumber, in the middle of the night, it felt as if the boat was, was shaking vigorously, you know. I opened my eyes and looked at Sujan. He was also looking at me. He said, bug. And it happened again. There was a roar. Mm -hmm. What a roar it was. Now, it the tiger, I, for once I thought the tiger was on the boat, but it was not. It was on one of the nearby banks, but it, it couldn't have jumped onto the boat. It was trying to cross, but it must have it, it disappeared after a while. 
what happened after that we were awake the whole night and we yeah. saw the noctiluca mm -hmm. uh, how noctiluca you know how they glow at night in the water when you sprinkle water in the in the mangrove in the estuaries the noctiluca they know they, they sometimes glow I and mean, that's something amazing and we had a colleague I, who was a scientist i would love to see that i've never seen that right mm -hmm. so you know so that was amazing and and this colleague said oh this is something interesting and then early morning we started hearing birds so one really needs to talk about the beauty of a tiger reserve as i was telling you the other day the tiger is an umbrella species the idea of tiger conservation is to conserve tiger its habitat which is the tiger reserves you know some reserve forests national parks and everything that is in it mm -hmm. and people are an a very close associate of this the knowledge that local people have in some of these areas is just fantastic. And I've seen that not just in Sundarbans, but everywhere else, you know, with the support of, of Discovery and um, also together with the Forest Directorate. Mm. We started some concept uh, of work about five years back. Uh, you, you might be knowing that quite a few uh, uh, honey collectors, mm -hmm. uh, they lose their life uh, due to tiger attack in the Sundarbans. Especially, yeah, yeah. Right, the Moli Marajai. That's why so they we, use that mask. Yeah, correct. So we thought that can we do something? Can we use mm. uh, not just technology? Can we use simply available technology to see that whether we can do apiculture? We can help these villagers with apiculture. So we mm. used some forest camps and then help the villagers to do apiculture. And now there is a cooperative mm. which is bottling honey, and they are sold in the name of Bonaful. I mean, you can sitting in Mumbai, you can order a bottle of Bonaful on. Amazon, and you yep. can get it. I, I, I got the, a thing to I, I've had it, and it's wonderful. One of the best honeys I've had. Amazing. Sundarban honey, you know, they're like yep. almost like from the tiger forest. The best part is that the input of WWF there, and with, with all the support of Discovery and, and the forest director, is, is now phasing out because now it's a self sustained initiative by the local communities and i think mm -hmm. that's where we need to move is that something needs to be sustainable we talk about sustainable development goals but when we bring mm -hmm. sustainability to the ground level to an mm -hmm. island in sundarbans i think that's mm -hmm. what is is required shonir varota um th this question is for everybody and i'm going to start with vinoji and um, i don't know whether it's ever crossed your mind that as children, the first exposure to Tiger is thanks to Jim Corbett and his stories. Um, I think those stories don't happen anymore. Nobody's writing those stories anymore. Um, it's children's stories. And you know, the same predicament and same challenges we face even in the world of music, uh, be it in classical music or be it folk music, uh, at the school level, the seeds are not being sown. And therefore, there's a disconnect uh, between uh, uh, the final output, which happens later on. And we keep on blaming nobody is listening to the, this kind of music anymore and all that. But actually, nobody's investing in these children anymore. Uh, and this is to all three of you. How important is to invest in children when it comes to conservation, especially tiger conservation? Vinodji, up. Yeah, this is very, very important. You know, this is the, I think, the basic of it. And they are the future. They they are the our pillars. And I think you know I should uh, also thank the uh, the channels like Discovery and you know National Geography and so many right. other. There are you know lot of programs. Maybe people are not writing those books like the Jim Corbett you know experiences. And the Jim Corbett book is simply fantastic. Because it's not complicated, it is written in a very, very simple English language and very short sentences and True. explaining just like, you know, you are there and, you know, mm. the scene is happening. Mm. But nowadays, you know, uh, because of this media and, you know, the, you know, what you call that uh, social networking and, you know, I, I had uh, one of the children. Uh, my cousin's son, he only see the discovery or national geography. Yeah. He doesn't see any other, you know, the channel. And if, you know, somebody else is... So this is, you know, visual impact is also very, very important. Mm. 
डेटा and as this you know is a huge here, statement yeah yeah it's a huge statement because the wh- when we will call the man eater when the tiger will kill you and eat it you are saying man eater Correct. so the tiger will kill you and it will eat, he- uh, eat the whole body mm-hmm. then you call it a man eater but in sundarban you know there are hardly any maybe there are few cases maybe you know four five cases where the tiger has you know dragged the body and eaten the body even the tiger which has come to the village mm. they they cross two or three rooms mm. where the people were sleeping mm. and he went at the back backyard where there were goats mm. so they didn't kick kill the oh. as uh, you know the banker was selling this is a very remote area now let's imagine a situation when all four of us is going to the sundarbans for fishing mm. and suddenly the tiger comes and attacks me what you three will do you will run away correct and the tiger will hold me from here mm. and will drag and the tiger is so powerful so powerful you know it will try to break my this uh, what you would call mm. and there will be lot of blood mm. now since these are the remote areas mm. you know you three of you we will come after two hours to see me and people die basically because of the blood loss ah uh, okay and then the if you take it the fisherman from there Mm-hmm. and reaching up to the gosawa where there is a primary health center mm-hmm. it takes another 3 hours so oh it's like 5 6 hours you reach to the place mm-hmm. and by that time there is a lot mm-hmm. of blood loss mm-hmm. you know we do record the death of the human being uh, by the tiger attack as a tiger kill right mm-hmm. yeah but that's not true. tiger mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. what i'm trying to say is you are entering a territory of a tiger where you know you are not supposed to go mm. and you know um, it doesn't mean the tiger attack everybody every fisherman it's not like that mm. there are fishermen or the honey collectors who which enter into the certain territory mm. and they are being you know attacked mm. and if you see uh, Uh, why i am saying that you know they are not man eater because you know before you enter into the tiger territory the tiger will warn you please do not come near to me yeah very important if you yeah. if you understand if you sense it is better otherwise you. otherwise what will happen once we come face to face then naturally it is going to be you know the the problem and the yeah. death which is happening is of course we call it tiger attack mm-hmm. the tiger attacked you mm. but the death is happening not because the tiger has eaten your body after your death your death is happening just because of blood loss thank you this is a very very important statement you made uh, uh, basically it gives you enough warnings before uh before somebody yeah. enters i think similarly we would also do that if somebody an unannounced is there in our house we would pretty much panic um uh ma'am this is to you uh, how do we trigger the imagination of children well i think uh, you know content uh, can play a big role in that and i think like what we do on discovery we obviously try to bring in the beauty you know the the magnificent side of the animal to uh, mm-hmm. you know get the to make a child or a young adult engaged with that content it's mm-hmm. about how you communicate that story is very important as well it's not about 
only what, but it's how as well. Mm. And I think one of the things uh, as a media uh, you know, company, we realize, and then that's true to the industry per se, that the overall uh, content consumption habits are changing. You know, People mm. are moving from uh, linear to digital uh, content, and there's so much of content being consumed on digital. So uh, very conscious of that, that a lot of young children and children and younger, young adults are moving their uh, content consumption habits onto digital. So it was important for us to be present in that platform as well. So our transition from discovery channels and an animal planet, uh, you know, and, and where our, you know, rich content resides in the linear world, we are, we have the similar content available on discovery plus as well. And today that is a, a product which is very well loved by um, parents and kids for that matter. In fact, yeah. Discovery, as all of us know, as we've grown up with, if any, our, our, all our parents wanted to say that don't watch anything else, but if you want to watch That's TV, true. then it's okay. Discovery yeah. is fine. You know, You're a good boy or a girl. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So I think that fundamental uh, aspect still exists even today. Even That's today's true. parents are mm -hmm. Discovery, they flow, but don't watch mm -hmm. anything else. Yeah. So yeah. that way, I think Discovery Plus <clears throat> plays a key role in that mm -hmm. uh, and we're doing that there's great content on tiger content which is on discovery plus as well and our social media platforms you know are mm -hmm. are huge uh, we have a huge following in that um we're in both on discovery as well as animal planet and discovery plus for that matter on our social platforms there's a lot of that content which gets showcased so i think yes it is important uh, for us as media responsible media broadcaster to do our bit but to your point whether it should be inculcated at multiple other levels whether it's schools or stories and more engagement uh, uh, you know by uh, by different stakeholders is also as important uh, I'm going to play a, a, a small video, which uh, actually the bunker shared with me. This is really a culmination of uh, what all we're talking about. It's about a small girl in Sundarban uh, talking about uh, the environment. Um, but uh, before that, I just want to say something very, very uh, gratifying. And all, all three of you who are today in discussion with me would love it. Without any, um, uh, how to put it? Uh, any, any uh, uh, trying to go or anything like that o on their own today since morning I would have got at least 40-45 paintings of young children uh, sending paintings of what they think about tiger conservation and the environment that we live in I think it's it's just fantastic that just one day a global tiger day has triggered the imagination of young kids to be able to, and, and they are much more savvy about social media than um, than at least me. Uh, so they they have shared this and tagged and say, "What do you think about it?" If a, some such as one day can do this, can you imagine if we had a more uh, kind of a detailed program when we did things where we actually triggered the imagination of people? That'll be so awesome i'll just play this uh, play this video uh. and after that maybe we can take a couple of questions yeah yeah sure uh, i hope not te technology doesn't fail me it's always uh... somehow on my screen all of you have uh, frozen uh, can you can you hear me no. yes loud and clear um yes. do one thing uh, um, uh, uh, the bunker, you just continue the conversation. I need to probably log out and log back in because I'm frozen on the screen here. Okay, you just continue. I'll, I'll, I'll join back in. Right, sure. So there are some questions and uh, a couple of them uh, have asked uh, how many tigers are, are found in Sundarbans? Uh, so a question for uh, the other, sir. You know, uh, the Sundarban, as I said, we have the 4,500 square kilometers. And uh, as per the protocols and as per the guidelines issued by the National Tiger Conservation Authority, uh, you know, we have a different, different, uh, you know, kind of uh, as, uh, the assessment program. We do continuous monitoring of the, you know, the species. And even not only uh, monitoring the tigers, but we are also monitoring the Base. We are also monitoring the other carnivores 
lesser cats small cats and all those so uh, whatever that uh, data we have got recently that mm -hmm. shows around you know around 100 uh, tigers it's right. 96 but you know uh, there is uh, we could not cover because what we do is the camera trap exercise right and uh, we have made a grid of two two square kilometer area right yeah and this yeah. in two square kilometer area we put one pair of camera and you know if we reduce this grid to one square kilometer then definitely we'll be getting more um, Uh, and uh, tigers and better data right so this 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 is the minimum tigers that we have right and thank it you it is thank very you. and it is very well distributed we have prepared maps we have prepared the geo tagging though mm -hmm. we are not disclosing the maps but right. we are disclosing the figures that in which range we are having which uh, how many tigers male to male right. and the uh, the heartening thing is that this uh, the tiger is producing the reproduction is also good right so you get the younger younger one also right uh, yes. shantanu thank you thank you, yeah, thank you just sir. play the video of this little girl yeah. uh, before different technology and then a question for mr kolet pultoli block er boykunthapur gramer nibashi ami class 7 e pori सुंदरबन एलकार मानुषे दैनन्दिन जीवन और संस्कृति वतप्रत भाव जड़ित ग्रामे बस करी तर उल्टो दिखे नदी अपर पारे बाघर जंगल यब प्रानिक एलिकागल जंगल थे बाघ ग्रामे पेड़ आसार घटना प्राय घटे थकी जदिव बन दफ्तर जंगल पारे ग्रामे उल्टो दिखे जो बेड़ार व्यवस्था कर घटना आगे चे अनेकटाई कमे तबुओ आतंक नित्य संगी अनेक स्वन परिजन जंगले माच का और मधु संग्रह करते गए बाघे आक्रमण प्राण हरान गुरुतर आहत हन तबुरा जानी पृथिवीर मानचित्रे सुंदरबन जे एक गुरुत्वपूर्ण जगह अर्जन ग्रामबासी भोग करते आज उन जुलाई सुंदरबन व्याघ्र दिवस तक मिले सुंदरबन बाघ के रक्षा करब नमस्कार you know i find this this uh, video um, this girls be uh, very fascinating especially because of the bengali there's a line okay. she uses saying a atonko a atonko amar nitto shongi this Absolutely. terror is part of my life and at the end of the video says yet i realize sundarbon is what it is because of the tiger this this two ideologies together is what i think best exemplifies man and human coexistence this is a beautiful <clears throat> video and uh, thank you the bunker and the blue of india for for sharing this um yeah you can go ahead with your questions yeah, yeah thank you uh, Sh shantanu i just wanted to say one thing hmm. from the video hmm. that this girl has sent a very good message bag ache tale jungal beche ache no you know she said that you know yeah. the, the tiger is the protector of protector of that mangrove ecosystem if the tiger would have not been there mm -hmm. you know all these 4500 square kilometer have been destroyed the mangrove which we which we say that this mangrove is a kind of a uh, protector shelter belt for us and the human being and even it is protecting the calcutta so <laughs> that was the one of the question when you asked in the uh, beginning. beginning yeah yes Absolutely. and this girl has very very well captured that bag ache bag ache to sundarbon jungal ache absolutely in fact i would uh, request once the once the covid times are uh, better and over um, i would think that dipankar me uh, 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 ma'am uh, and we should all go together because i often feel sometimes when you are there at 
this the action a lot of ideas come a lot of things come because last two years been pretty much interacting on on the screens and i think um, fingers crossed if this wave goes by and we are all vaccinated i think right. it's time we rolled up our sleeves and got down to the uh, street level to start Absolutely. dealing with this dipanka please go ahead with the questions yeah so a mm -hmm. lot of questions but i'm just culminating into one and combining uh, for uh, for me starter is that what can a common person you know, somebody who is who has grown up in in an urban center do for tigers i have an answer but uh, would like to hear your perspective ma'am i am one of those people so if i can you can um Thanks, you know the fact is that i have uh, i am i'm a city girl um and i you know I, it's not that i have lived in forests of course i love the jungles i've been to uh, more uh, you know sort of civilized jungles you know there are all guided tours with with all of that's that's not that real stuff right you know you, this is for city people to experience the forest and the right. and the wildlife um and i think uh, there is no other better way to experience that than actually going and physically experiencing it only when you really feel the energy or feel the environment you you absorb what is around you 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 know there's no other better there's no alternate to experience really i mean you can take give stories sure. you can talk write books you can uh right movies uh, you know shows all of that just fantastic it'll get it'll get you to a point but to keep a make a deeper engagement to make a deeper impact in you you have to experience and that's true to everything in your life not just tigers not just forest anything you have to bring that experience and to me i i could connect to this um to to this animal and to wildlife to forest per se way before i joined discovery and in fact dipankar knows this i've been supporting wwf as an individual as a family both my husband and right. i have been supporting right. wwf Absolutely. for years because we both sure. very passionate about uh, you know wildlife so uh, and it's not that you have to be of any particular degree diploma expertise nothing you just have to love you know and and the animal understands love there and la there is no language to love right so an animal senses love and senses Absolutely. fear as well you know and so yeah. it's important for you as an individual to be uh, willing and open to get love and give love and for that you just have to go there and experience it once you once you get that physical experience you yourself will be a convert thank you so much uh, shantanu if i just can take 30 seconds and sure that's that's a lovely uh, i think summary that uh, ms tata has given just to respond to your earlier question shantanu uh, what could what could children do or what could we do for children right. we should take them to tiger forests ah and expose them to the beauty of tiger forests lovely if we are lucky we would be able to show them tigers but otherwise just the, just the beauty you know that's beautiful yeah. Yeah. that should be the aim thank you and santanu i must thank you for your wonderful support for for conservation thank you. not just tigers but for everything thank you uh, have you fact, have was... you made a song on tigers yet santanu no 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 <laughs> none of my characters yeah, want to be anywhere in the I'll tigers i'll give you our next project <laughs> uh, um i was uh, i'm going to conclude uh, today's uh, the session by saying that i the window in front of me is really um really complete in terms of why tigers numbers have increased dramatically that's because uh, you have state you have corporate and you have the expert working hand in glove for a single cause thrown in is a little of bit of music and i think it's it's entertainment too but i think that is it that it is this amalgamation there is this hand holding together breaking all the boundaries when we look at a species one species can you imagine what difference can we make if to so many other species if uh, many such more corporates many such more states and many such more experts came together this is a great example this is a great window thank you all of you vinod ji uh, thank you very Nigama, much dipankar thank, thank you for this thank you shantanu and um, thanks very much thank thanks yeah this is awesome and thank you wdo of india for uh, looking, and looking india forward yes. looking forward for collaborative management absolutely
Thank you so much. Thank you so Thank much. You. Take Bye-bye, care. Bye-bye. Thank you, everyone. Thanks. So, Dakhwa, Bishwa, Bhai, Kushan, Abar. This is a great, great moment All and uh, happy World Tiger Day. Thank you. Bye. Abar, Dakhwa, Bhai.